For the second year in a row, Forbes has compiled a list of the world's highest paid DJs. Thanks to festivals like Ultra and EDC, this genre has become a force to be reckoned with. For 2013, we decided to expand the list from 10 names to 12. So without further ado, here are the top 12 earners in the entire world of electronic music. Number 12, we have a tie. Diplo and DJ Pauly D. They both pulled in $13 million over the past year. In both cases, that was in large part due to massive amounts of touring. Next is Steve Aoki, who earned $14 million. Aoki is probably the hardest working DJ on our list and played 268 shows in the last year. As an entrepreneur, Steve is also actually very invested in several other ventures. He has several restaurants, a shoe line, and a headphone line that he's all invested in personally. Moving up to number nine, we've got a tie between Cascade and Skrillex both of whom made $16 million last year. Cascade continues to rake it in with live shows all around the world, particularly in Las Vegas. Skrillex has cashed in on scoring movies and video games. He actually did an original song for the movie Wreck-It Ralph. Moving up to number eight, we've got Armin Van Buren at $17 million. He's been huge in Europe for many years and he makes his debut on the Forbes list thanks to shows from Kuala Lumpur to Oakland. Number seven on the list this year is Nick Vanderwall, or better known as Dutch DJ Afrojack. Afrojack is doing pretty well. He recently crashed a Ferrari and bought a new one the next day, tweeting about it. Afrojack is well known also as a pop producer and has worked with the likes of Pitbull to Neo to Rihanna in producing and writing songs. At number six, we've got Avicii at $20 million. Just 23 years old, he's the youngest DJ on our list but continues to move up the ranks thanks to nightly grosses in excess of $200,000. Uh, he also earns big from endorsements like a deal he's got with Ralph Lauren, and he's got his first album coming out in the fall. Next on our list is Joel Zimmerman, or a DJ better known as Dead Mouse. Dead Mouse played less shows this year, but is now focusing on club gigs. Earlier this year, he signed on as an exclusive resident DJ at Hakkasan, joining the likes of Sibioki, Tiesto, and Calvin Harris. At number four, we've got Swedish House Mafia at $25 million. Now, the three DJs that make up the group actually parted ways in March. However, they made enough money on their arena tours in the months preceding that uh, to clock in very high on our list. They'll continue to earn big individually, though it seems unlikely that any single one of them will earn more than $25 million in a year. Number three on this year's list is David Guetta. Forbes estimates that David earned over $30 million in the year period. The Parisian DJ, who's also contemporary of Daft Punk, is probably best known for his pop collaborations. He has a weekly residence in Ibiza and is playing less shows in Vegas, though he still has a residency at the Wynn Hotel. Number two on our list this year is Tiesto, who was our top earning DJ last year. This year, he earned more than last year at $32 million and signed an exclusive deal to play at Hakkasan in Las Vegas. He also recently said he'd stop playing Ibiza and focus on his Vegas gigs for the next year or so. And at number one on our electronic cash kings list, we've got Calvin Harris at $46 million. That's more than Jay-Z or Kanye West or Katy Perry. Uh, and he's up there thanks to producing hits for the likes of Rihanna and other pop stars, uh, as well as his own work and touring. He makes upwards of $200,000 a night for some shows, and he's got even more in the works with another lucrative deal working for Hakkasan. And there you have it, the 2013 Electronic Cash Kings list.